What's cracking, Josie Garfunkel? And in this video, I'm going to go over and show you how to install the mystery box onto your PC server. It changes item, gives you an array of random items that you will get to select via a config file. And when the box despawns, it's not quite the original sound, but it does have a similar sound for when the box disappears. So you'll be able to configure multiple locations for where this box will rotate around to. And I'm going to show you how to do all that. But first things first, you need to hop over here to Steam and subscribe to the mystery box, all its assets, and give this a read to get an idea of what's going on. To add the mystery box to your local server, you're going to open up your workshop folder, open up your local server folder. You're going to right click the mod, copy it. And you're going to right click your server folder and you're going to paste it. I've already got this done, so I don't need to replace this. Then like any mod, you're going to open the mod itself and go to the keys folder. Over on your servers folders, you're going to go to the keys folder. You're going to copy this key, never drag it out of the workshop, always copy, and you're going to paste it. Again, I already have the key, but I'll replace it. And then from there, you're going to simply add the mods call line to the mod line of your local server. To add this to your live server, you're going to open your FTP file transfer protocol. I use FileZilla. You're going to have your workshop folder open here on the left. You're going to find the mod and you're going to have your server over here on the right. Open the standalone folder and you'll see this is where we put our mods. I already have this installed, but I'll go through the motions. You're going to click right click it to pull up this and you're going to tap upload. So it uploads into here. Then we're going to come down here to our keys folder of our live server. Over here on the left, we're going to open the mod and open the keys folder. Same way we added the mod, we're going to upload the key. I already have this on here, so it's asking us to overwrite. And the way that we added the mods name to our mod list on our local, you will do that to your live server wherever you add your mods call line. Once you have the mod installed, you're going to go ahead and restart your server. And then once you've logged in, you're going to notice an extra file being created in the config folder of your server. This is on my local config scroll down to where your scripts and your crash logs are as it does not go into a folder of its own so be careful when you delete things and we're going to open that and this is where our configuration is going to happen so if you have a trader you're going to signify what type of currency you want it to cost to use this mystery box and how much of that currency it costs can the crate change location you can set this for one location and make this bool zero so it does not try to change location. Or you can have it change. You can have how many times you can use the box before it rotates around and what the odds are of it failing so it rotates around. Adding coordinates is pretty straightforward with your orientation as well for your rotation. I just used a GIF box in Daisy Editor, double clicked it, pulled my chords and orientation. And that's all I had to do to get these positions. And to change what's in the box and what's attached to the items that are in the box, you will go down here to possible box items. You will put the type name for the weapon or item you want to put in there. It does not have to be weaponry. And what's going to be attached to it. But that's pretty much it. That's literally all it takes. And you get a functioning mystery box with sounds and rotations and lights. And it's a great addition. I really enjoyed setting this up and adding it to my little bunker build. So I hope this brings a little something to your server builds. Hope this helps you get it installed. Hope you learned some shit. 
I'm out.